So we have talked about the pathophysiology of cardiogenic shock. Let's talk a little bit about the management and kind of being able to determine what type of cardiogenic shock we're dealing with. Because not all cardiogenic shocks are equal. You know, there is kind of split into two different classifications for it. There's what's known as the dry and cold and the wet and cold cardiogenic shocks. Now, these have distinct etiologies and distinct clinical features, but the th big things to look for is congestion, right? So when somebody's having dysfunction of their heart acutely and they're going into shock because of that, it can either result in a dry and cold scenario where you're looking at their periphery and their arms and their legs and they're cool to the touch and then their lungs aren't congested. So that's quote-unquote dry and cold versus other forms of cardiogenic shock that result in cool extremities, but then when you auscultate their lung sounds, they're all full of fluid, and this is wet and cold cardiogenic shock. We love that you love our video, so much so that we've actually created some shock illustrated notes for you, and you can download these for free in a link on our bio.